so I asked asked you to do this question and um, these, these are outcomes and these are probabilities so what you have to do is to make another cell another column here uh, which contains the multiplication of the outcome and the probability so minus 2000 times 0.5 can be written here and 1000 times 0.4 can be written here and then sum all of them will be the sum will be the expected uh, value of the variable so let's do this just straightforward multiply 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 line by line and uh, minus so my negative number does not change anything so multiply as usual and summation is minus 1000 plus 400 plus 320 plus 140 in the end the summation will be minus 140 that means this agent the dealer incurs a loss of 140 dollars each week every week on average so so in terms of the expected net profit the dealer the agent does not deserve his salary right so you may fire him or uh, you may reduce his salary or think about something it's anyhow it he does not deserve the salary he's only making a loss okay this is another example but uh, what I also what's hidden here is remember this number minus $140 a week we are going to interpret this in another uh, we are going to approach to the same problem using a different uh, perspective you may I as I said I relabeled the number of cars, cars sold into uh, net profit and this kind of transformation is quite common like for example changing euros to dollars so for example GDP of say South Korea is denoted in dollars so in the step to make the outcome to make the data someone has to multiply change to multiply the exchange rate between South Korean one to US dollars so or inches to meters Celsius to Fahrenheit so these kind of transformations are the same transformation as what we did in this example so it's not something totally new or something that's totally dif difficult right so let me think use this notation X is the original random variable in our example the original random variable was the number of cars sold by the agent in a week and Y is the new random variable in our example is the net profit generated by the agent in a week right so in general we may write the relationship in this way Y equals to a function G of original variable X so if you have the original variable if you input and input an original variable then uh, the output is a new random variable so relabeling uh, changing the original variable into a new random variable right and in our example the relationship can be written in this way so for each car sold uh, he makes three thousand dollars but uh, he always takes two thousand dollars as a fixed salary right so this is the relationship between how we obtain the new random variable from the original random variable right so we we call this transformation of random variables right and in and now what we are doing what we did in the earlier uh, slide uh, is to to calculate the mean of the expected value of the new random variable after transformation right and what we did here is we first we transformed X number of cars into net profit using the the 
given the numbers using like three thousand dollars two thousand dollars and then attach probability to the new random variable but the probabilities are the same so it this the second step is like simple easy automatic and the last step is to calculate the mean using the new random variable probability distribution table right so this is what we did in the earlier slide but here you may ask this question so we just define the relationship between the original random variable and the new random variable then there must be some relationship between their means if we know the mean of the original random variable doesn't it imply something about the mean of the new random variable the answer is in general no so uh, so the original random variables expectation um, does not imply this so these steps are safe way to obtain the mean of the new random variable however in some special cases it they it helps like the original variables expectation helps to calculate the new variables expectation for example like look at this the the dealer car sales agent uh, sales point to a uh, point six two cars per week this is the mean of the original random variable and we know that the relationship the new net profit is calculated in this way net profit is 3000 times x minus 2000 then re I told you to remember this number you get the same result by by calculating this way some simply apply the mean apply the relationship to the mean so plug this into uh, x right so 3000 times the mean minus 2000 is the expected net profit this is e absolutely easier easier way to calculate the mean of the new random variable and however as i said it's in general this does not work this is possible because the relationship is linear the relationship between x and y is linear so we have a nice uh, simple way so let me formulate this let me state it as a formula so if x and y have a linear relationship that means y can be written as something multiplied to x plus something right so into the original variable multiply something and add something right so of course the addition if b is a negative number you can change it to sub subtraction so uh, it's not a big problem and then we have this result so the expected value of the new random variable y can be calculated simply from the relationship if you know the original variables mean then it's simple however as I said the condition is linearity the relationship must be linear and you have to tell if they satisfy the linear relationship if not if you are uncertain I recommend you to take the full steps so just convert one to one and attach probability and uh, make another probability table calculate probability weighted outcomes and sum them so that's a more tedious but a more safe way to calculate the mean and here I'll show you examples of nonlinear relationship so if x squared is involved it's quadratic it's not linear and if say if there is a discontinuous say condition is discontinuous is greater than zero or smaller than zero it's different at a point it's not linear and if say think about utility function usually utility function is not linear it's concave linear function should be a straight line but utility function is a concave function so uh, cannot be a linear relationship 
other examples like square root, log, exponential, like uh, or sine, cosine. All those functions are not linear, so obviously they are not a linear relationship. Okay, uh, so uh, I'm going to finish here. So we will continue how we handle uh, transformation of random variables with a new example. And uh, uh, so, and then after finishing that, I will discuss some potential problems of the mean and we'll introduce an alternative to the mean, the median. Okay, uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice weekend and see you later. Bye.